The following tutorial will cover how to create a metagenotype using PyCanto. So this tutorial will cover how to create metagenotypes, which are the interaction between a pathogen genotype and a host genotype, which is something that you need to have already annotated into PyCanto before going into the metagenotype stage. Now this is something that I have already done, so I will just go on to metagenotype management. And as you can see, I have uh, genotypes for the pathogen that cover the deletion allele, the wild type allele, and the overexpression allele. In this case, I will choose the wild type allele. And I want to create a metagenotype with the host Reticum Aestibun, for which I also have different genotypes. And I also have created a multi-allele genotype, which um, I will show you in a little bit. But in this case, I just want to re reflect the interaction with the wild type variety. So I'll just click on there and then let's make my metagenotype. And as you can see, I, can, I now have my new metagenotype down below. I had already created one for the overexpression allele, so that's why I also have this here. And once the metagenotype has been created, what I can do is start annotating a pathogen host interaction phenotype. So I just click here and what I need to do now is start typing the phenotype that I observed for this uh, interaction. In this case is the presence of host of pathogen host associated lesions. Now, as usual, I have more specific terms available. If they apply, I can select one, otherwise I will just go on to proceed. Good. Now I need to say how I observed this phenotype, which in this case was a macroscopic observation and a quantitative one. Good. And now I can specify experimental conditions. Um, in this case, I want to specify the delivery mechanism, which was a pathogen spray inoculation. I also want to add that this was done 12 days post infection. And then I just click on proceed. And here there are annotation extensions that I can use if they apply. Like for example, the host tissue that was infected, which in this case was the inflorescence. There are more specific terms, but if none of them apply, then just click on finish. I can report on the outcome of the interaction, which is that the disease was present. If I'm done with this section, then I just click on proceed. And here it's where I put in from which figure you can get this information. And again, I can write comments here that um, I feel are important when I'm curating this phenotype, which in this case is that this uh, control was a difficult phenotype to choose, and so I chose lesions. Once I'm done with this, then I just go on to um, proceed and I have my uh, pa pathogen host interaction phenotype curated. Now, so I now have the um, metagenotype right with the wild type pathogen allele on the wild type host genotype and I'm gonna make a similar procedure and create a metagenotype between the deletion allele and once again the wild type variety and then I just click and make a metagenotype and as you can see it appears down here. Now a useful way to annotate new pathogen host uh, interaction phenotypes once you have created the metagenotype is to do a copy and edit. So for example, I already have a phenotype for the interaction with the wild type allele of Ralph. So I can just go to view my phenotype annotations and I can choose, for example, copy and edit. And I can make the changes here. For example, in this case, the phenotype will now go for the deletion allele. Um, the main phenotype that I observed remains the same. Uh, and I want to add the um, annotation extension. So I just click on edit and and here I want to report on the extent of the infectivity, which is the unaffected pathogenicity, because um, there was no difference um, with the infection with this deletion allele. And I also want to say that I'm comparing this interaction to the control metagenotype, which is the one with the wild type allele for the pathogen. And then I click on OK. And now I have my new annotation um, extensions. The evidence code, so how I observed these phenotypes, remains the same. Same thing for the delivery mechanism and the when was the inoculation performed. This comment is still applicable here. And also the figure remains the same. So I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm not saying the annotation here because this is the metagenotype between the wild type pathogen and the wild type host but if i go to my summary i scroll down i now have the metagenotype between uh, the deletion allele 
and the while type host and uh, the phenotype I described for this interaction. So all of the examples I have just been showing were using the um, host while type, but you can also choose to do this interaction with different genotypes from the host. So once again, we go to the metagenotype management tab and I will now report on the interaction between the wild type allele of the pathogen. Again, it's triticomyces tumor as the host, but I now want to report on the interaction between this multi-allele genotype that's composed of three genes that are um, knockdowns, right, in the host. So let's just make make metagenotype and now it appears down here and I will now annotate the pathogen host interaction that corresponds. So this is a presence of pathogen associated host lesions. I won't be using any of these specific terms, so then proceed. This was observed with a macroscopic observation a quant and a quantitative one. There are no experimental conditions that I want to report, so then I go on to proceed. Here, the host tissue that was infected was the spike. The um, extent of infectivity was also an unaffected pathogenicity, in spite of having knockdowns for the wild type host genes. And the outcome of the interaction is that the disease is present. So, so this information comes from figure eight. And I would like to add a comment because we can't create water as a control, right? Um, which is what was used in this case. Then I just click on to proceed. And I have now my new pathogen host interaction phenotype curated. And so we go back to summary. As you can see, I have now all of these metagenotypes that I created with their corresponding pathogen host interaction phenotypes. One thing we can do once we have the metagenotype created between the wild type pathogen and the wild type host is to mm, report on the disease that this interaction uh, causes. So if I go to be a metagenotype and here, as you can see, I have to add a new disease name for this metagenotype. So I will just click on here. And in this case, this is the Fusarium head blight. There are no specific terms to choose from, so then just go on to proceed. I can report on the tissue, then just go on to host tissue infected. In this case, it's the inflorescence. And then proceed. If there is a figure where um, you are uh, showcasing this information, then just put it in here. This is from the figure three. Again, if there are comments, put it in. Otherwise, just proceed. And now I have the name of the disease. Diseases should be curated only using the wild type pathogen and the wild type host. Regarding the way the genotype that involves the Ralph overexpressing allele, and the wild type host genotype. There's a separate video that covers these interactions, as and there's a specific situation here where the pathogen's gene is expressed by the transgenic host. Therefore, if you want more information on this specific interaction, please go and check the video where we describe in more detail how to curate such an interaction. If you want more information on creating metagenotypes, just go into the help section and into the creating metagenotypes part. And of course, if you have more specific queries, you can always contact us at Ficanta, where we'll be more than happy to assist you.